Okay vlog, it is so late. I'm in my room, it's 10.30 Manaus time. And we just spent a good hour in the middle of the Amazon on the boat underneath the stars. Um, one of the people on tour with us, he's from Spain. He could play the guitar, so we had a one hour comp. We had a one hour concert out on the water, like and just underneath the stars. It was really nice, but I was tired because I pretty much didn't sleep because I got in in the middle of the night. So I only slept like an hour at the accommodations. So I want to try one of was like the most popular thing that they pointed out to me that everybody liked in the group. So I picked it out, which was also fun because I don't think I ever been in a grocery store with a bunch of locals and them telling me what was their favorite snacks. And they all told me I should get this one. Oh, I'm shocked. Look at this. It's individual. If that's the case, I may buy another one because this might be little fun gifts. I thought it would be like open and like bigger pieces. Ooh. This reminds me of a Kit Kat. Take a look at this. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. buy a few more of these to take back to the states but that is going to wrap up today's video we have to meet at 5 30 at the boat because we are going to go out for sunrise and then have breakfast and after breakfast we are going to be walking the jungle it's going to be a long day and i want to catch up on sleep so i hope you guys enjoyed the first full day of the amazons because honestly i did things that i thought i never would do coming out here like jumping and swimming in the amazon and also holding an alligator like those two things i never think i would ever do in my entire life but literally like when we took the first boat out i just started to cry because it was just so surreal just like jetting away in the amazons and then seeing where both the rivers meet with the color changing i've seen that on the internet and it was just so surreal to be right there seeing it in person and then seeing the sunset and being able to fly the drone and seeing what it looked like from the sky like such surreal moments like i honestly i have to say between the nile and me experiencing the Nile in Egypt and experiencing Tanzania and Serengeti and then now experiencing the Amazon in Brazil is like unbelievable. It makes me like so appreciate everything and um, it was just kind of funny like the frog in my bathroom and <laughs> yeah it's just been like a crazy interesting day but give this video a big thumbs up it's 10 30 i am going to take off my makeup take off my contacts and i'm going to go to bed i'm going to try to get up 10 to 5 to get ready for the day and um they served chicken tonight for dinner but they accommodated me by serving me fish that we had for lunch so that I could enjoy dinner but um it's been interesting because I'm surrounded by all Portuguese speaking people they're all Brazilian except two girls are from Denmark so it's nice to be able to spend time with locals and also be around non-Americans so I'm a fan. This is really good. There's a lot of pieces in here too. I don't know how many pieces, but the whole thing is filled. Take a look at that. 
wow so i'm gonna go to bed it's like get so emotional in certain places around the world and i really enjoy my week in rio and then now seeing the amazon like brazil is definitely my one of my top three to five countries i visited around the world and such a special place and i can't believe i'm here and i feel like i feel the same way when i was in the serengeti it gives me the same feeling such a cool place but i'm gonna enjoy my time being unplugged there's no internet there's no wi-fi i'm so glad they have electricity and i'm going to share as much as i can but we will fly the drone again for sunrise and it was very nerve-wracking to fly the drone in the amazons in the middle of the water because we were on a very small boat so to be able to launch the drone from the small boat and get it back to the boat was a whole task in itself so we will do that again tomorrow for sunrise and i think i'm good like putting myself in those stressful situations trying to get the drone back good morning welcome back to another episode travel with you Lynn. amazon it's 5 30 in the morning as you see the sun is slowly rising we are gonna head out on the water for sunrise I slept pretty good it's very humid here humidity is in the 90s but I'm not able to give you the temperature because there's no internet here I feel much better compared to yesterday well rested I literally rolled out of bed 10 minutes ago and here I am I just have my bikini on slippers shorts and a tank top I could technically just be in a bikini because it's so hot no frogs greeting me this morning by my door but you can definitely hear them yay isn't it something special to wake up in the middle of the Amazon in Brazil how gorgeous fun fact for the vlog we've been swimming here and in the distance literally right here there's alligators would you go and swim in the Amazon here knowing that there's alligators here because I did and I think that's pretty crazy for whatever reason they don't like coming here because there's nowhere for them to hide but over there where the bushes are they'll hide all in there so yeah i didn't realize that they were literally right there until we went last night and he picked one out of the bush with his hand here it is the rain poncho i bought for costa rica that i never had to use i'm using it this morning in the amazon moses up in the mix and my beautiful people. <laughs> some of them are prepared for the rain, some not. But look at this rain poncho. It's pretty good quality, like really good quality. So we'll see. I don't think I can fly the drone. And Daddy, you said that there's lots of clouds. Yeah, it's that way. <laughs> it's 